beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Aura and today we're going to do an altar tour. I'm so excited because I haven't done an altar tour since the beginning of my YouTube channel. It's like the second or third video I have up, I think. I think it might be the second. Either way, it's been a really long time and my altar, which I'm sitting in front of has changed a lot. This is probably my most requested video, so I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's go over to the altar. All right, everyone. So I will be doing this good old fashioned handheld style. And this is my altar right now. I just pan down from the top. I have some dried flowers and a pentacle that I made uh, a while ago, I think when I first started witchcraft but the bouquets oh i should try oh toad um okay she can just stay there for now this is what she would like to see i'm going to try and stay out of the light also so the three bouquets or three just dried flowers that i have hanging on the wall the outer two are not anything special they Actually, this one came from my mom's garden, so that is special to me. But this hydrangea bunch I just picked up. Actually, that came from my dad's house. Both of these are special for me. All right, so cool. And this bouquet I got at my childhood friend's wedding, which was about a month and a half ago. And I just dried it, and it's so pretty. And I'm sorry that it's really dark. I'm trying to get good lighting, but it's just... Uh, difficult. I have an evil eye necklace hanging above the bouquet and just above everything on my altar. And then to the right of my altar on the wall, I have this necklace holder that my mom gave me, or an earring holder I should say, but I also hold necklaces on it. And a record that we got at a thrift store that we have not played yet. So just hanging there. Moving down to my actual altar, my altar has gotten a lot more workable and useful for everyday uh, practices and things like that. So I'm just going to give you a little pan overview of everything on it and then I will go back and talk about some things. So my altar is shared with my boyfriend and it's split into two separate sides. So the left side is his side and the right side is mine. So I'm gonna overview his side first because it'll go by a little bit quicker. On the side here, oh, there are sirens outside. Okay. On the far side here, I have a little snake plant growing and it's actually doing so well. It's growing a new leaf right inside there. Underneath this flower pot, I have the cat statue that was in my previous altar tour. I got this from my grandparents years and years ago. I've had it since I was a baby. Uh, hanging on that is just a necklace that my boyfriend got during his cousin's wedding. This little, oop, I almost burned myself, haha. <laughs> this little bag of incense. And then on either side of the altar, I have these white candles. There's one over there. And I anointed them with lavender. There it is. So there's just some lavender in the wax. And yeah. And then we have a pumpkin because tis the season, am I right? Moving into the altar, we have this Gandalf pipe that my boyfriend got and his tarot deck. He uses the Hermetic tarot deck and it just stays on this wooden board and he has some fluorite points in the back and a crystal ball. And then this box back here holds, I believe, my pagan tarot deck and I believe this is a black onyx or obsidian point. I think it's black onyx though. He has some more bracelets from his cousin's wedding and a bell that his mom gave us. Then we have come to our first crystal formation, crystal grid. Uh, there's, I guess you could say three of them that I have laid out on the altar. So this first one is just uh, queer quartz and tiger's eye and I made this one for my boyfriend. There's some yellow jasper in there, 
and this is his tiger's eye bracelet and I just have a clear quartz in the middle of that and this clear quartz is really pretty I'm gonna zoom in because we're gonna get some good crystal shots don't you worry here's some crystal shots of the fluorite points in the crystal ball behind my boyfriend's tarot deck I have this little amethyst cluster triangle <laughs> And then the tiger's eye and clear quartz uh, field. Behind that is this box of incense that was given to us from, I believe, his mother. And I believe she got it from India. And there is a carnelian, carnelia stone in here. I think that's what it's called. A green adventuring point. This jar has some incense that is also from India. Uh, this bunch of herbs and at the bottom there is sand from the Cayman Islands that my mom brought back when she visited My mom is from the Cayman Islands, so it's a little Place of a home that I've never been visited I guess and there's also a coral piece in there I'm not sure if I'll be able to Oop, there it is Yeah beautiful Continuing down the altar, we get to the second crystal field I have, and this is my main one. And the middle of my altar is flanked by these two candlesticks, a uh, green and a red one. I don't really have any meaning to why those are green and red, they just are. Um, but they're flanking this box that Holds a tarot deck, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure what tarot deck is in here, to be honest. I haven't opened it in a while, because on top we have our deities, our Hindu statues. The left statue, I believe, is a representation of Shiva, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. The middle statue is Ganesh, and the right statue is Saraswati, and I should point her towards me a little bit more um, and they are just on their own kind of individual crystal fields so it's with these uh, surrounded by clear quartz as well as the Ganesh statue moving down we have some roses and we have crystals and some more crystals and some more crystals <laughs> before i get into the crystal field on either side at the base of these candle sticks uh, i have some offering placings so this white lotus candle holder i actually have silver coins to offer the gods uh this is just a natural this is a logo or not a logo a label from uh an incense and it just says natural rose on it and i just love everything about it so I put it in this clear card and just have it back there anyway um, <laughs> so the left side is for offering silver coins and the right side is for offering uh, nature and natural substances and things so in this little incense bowl I have some various crystals that I just didn't find a place for in other fields I have some nuts and seeds and things that I picked up from walking around. I do live in the city, so it's kind of hard for me to uh, find natural materials that aren't contaminated, we'll say. <laughs> and then I have some dried roses in there, as well as the a joint right on top. That joint that is being offered as a natural material right now will be used in a weed ritual, and I'm going to give you guys some helpful hints about that so stay tuned the main crystal field in my altar is made up of selenite clear quartz this pyramid of tourmaline and metals and a bunch of shit uh green earthy stones and rose quartz and amethyst and i just kind of laid it out into whatever I felt suit. Uh, I feel like crystal fields are very natural and they should come very natural, so whatever feels right to you in the moment, uh, do it. I basically have, to explain it, uh, energy sources coming down from the deities out to my boyfriend's side of the altar, to my side of the altar, and then 
out towards our space and us and the universe that is around us. So it's kind of a hub for all of our energies. And we have our gatas on top. My boyfriend's sister picked these up in India for us and they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, the larger one is my boyfriend's and the smaller one is mine. And I just keep them right there. Moving from the middle over to the right and we enter my side of the altar. And this is just a little quick pan overview of that. I feel like I have a lot going on. So the first thing that is over here is where I keep my tarot cards. And I keep them on this elevated silver and glass platter that was given to me by my boyfriend. I just think it's very beautiful and a nice way to display them. I have this string of different crystals all around. It's also my boyfriend's. I have a lot. This is a, I would say this is both of our altars, to be honest, uh, because we both use them. Obviously, he has his own side. Uh, I also have one of my favorite necklaces that I recently wore, just kind of recharging here before I put it away into my jewelry box. My tarot deck, uh, to show you that it's a working altar, I didn't even uh, cover up what I pulled this morning. I got two of pentacles, but this tarot deck is the cosmic tarot deck and it's my favorite one to use. And I have rose quartz pieces surrounding my deck and that is how I house it. I also have this silver, this is an old, my old Zagata and my new one's right there. So I just keep this one here also because I, I like to keep it with me, it's special to me. I didn't get a lot of clips of the crystals so to give you just an overview of what everything looks like close up. Moving above my tarot deck, I just have some various decorations. I have a amethyst cluster, a selenite piece, some candles. This is a white woman candle and then just another white candle that I have in a tincture bottle. There's this peacock feather that is also in the natural offerings area. I have a bundle of sage. There's this painting back here that I have been meaning to send to my best friend, Alma Viva. And Alma, if you were watching this, that's for you. So, sorry to ruin the surprise, but I saw it at a thrift store and it reminded me of her art and it just reminded me of her and I bought it and I just haven't mailed it to her. So it's on my altar, just getting my love and my energy and my appreciation. So whenever she gets it, it'll be full of good energy. This little jar is also from my last altar video. It is just a bunch of dried herbs and flowers that I stuffed into a jar with my grandma back when I was like, oh my god, I just burned the fuck out of my hand. I'm a dummy. <laughs> I just wanted to fix this. This was annoying me. There we go. Uh, yeah, I made this jar back when I was like, 12 maybe it's just stuck with me this long and I love it. So it's there. Here's a nice zoom in on that jar for you And then on top of the jar on the neck I have Wow focus, please. I have some bangles that I got from uh, My boyfriend's cousin's wedding that are beautiful. So I have them there. All right guys We are making it to the last part of my altar on the bottom here I just have my journal that was given to me by my boyfriend. It is this beautiful, beautiful journal with a crystal on the front. It's beautiful and there's a little latch and I'm not going to show you what's inside because it's mine. It's a secret. So let me just, there we go. So my journal is there so I can write in it whenever I please. I have a, another one of the white candles, like I said previously. And then I have this recent addition. This is a candlestick that I got from the Goodwill and I'm just burning an orange candle for the Halloween spirit on here. And this candlestick, I have to say, is so beautiful. Like, damn, look at that. So one of the last things that I have is my jewelry box. And on top of my jewelry box, I have some citrine and clear quartz pieces right here. 
This is my wand that I got from my boyfriend for my birthday. Lots of things from my boyfriend. If you're wondering what it looks like, it's absolutely beautiful. And I love it so much. Behind my wand, I just have some other natural things. I have dried rose, a little succulent growing, some ash that I use for protection spells. This beautiful malachite box that was given to me by my best friend Kaylee uh, for my birthday. And then just some more succulents over there. I need to show off this box because I think I showed it off in my last video, but it's absolutely beautiful. And I just keep some special things in there. And there's a heart on the bottom. So cute. All right. We keep her there because she's special to us. I'm not really going to show you what's in my jewelry box. It's just a bunch of jewelry, to be honest. Nothing special. Uh, and the only other thing I have on my altar is this wine bottle with some more bangles and random dried herb bags. I also have this jar of pine needles that I got from my Christmas tree last year that I'm going to do a ritual with this year when I get my new Christmas tree. So, they have been with me since last December. Cheers to another altar tour, everyone. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It has been long awaited, but definitely worth the wait. My altar has changed a lot in the past 11 months, almost a year since I posted that video. Actually, I'm gonna check when I posted it because I don't really remember. I think it was in October. Let me double check. Does anyone else ash in their plants? No, just me. Nine months ago, I posted it on January 7th, 2019. Damn. Damn. I mean, that was just into this year, but it really felt like last year, like that long ago. It's crazy. 2020 is about to start. I'm honestly extremely ready for the decade. I feel like there's going to be such a positive shift in society with this decade that it's just going to be good for everyone that is ready to accept the blessings. So this joint is maraschino cherry, blessed by my altar. It's fucking delicious. I hope you guys are smoking along with me or if you smoked along in this video, let me know what you smoked on down below. I always love hearing what other people's favorite strains are or just what they're smoking on at the time. And I think I'm gonna go now. I will see you guys next week. You can follow my Instagram at Aura of the Forest. I have a new WeTube video out. It's a little vlog of getting my hair like this. I didn't talk about it, but it's pretty obvious. <laughs> so make sure you go and check that out. It was a lot of fun. I dyed my friend's hair a really fun color. There was a lot of smoking and it's just a fun, interesting video. So the link will be down below as well as all of my other socials. And I hope you all have a great night, day, weekend, week, school day, work day, chill day, whatever you're doing. I hope it's fabulous and have a great night, everyone. <laughs>